we are planning on putting the Pro V2 on school staff. And we're doing it in a way that, um, that most people aren't familiar with when it comes to protecting something as sensitive as a school campus and the students that are on it. We're not trying to make combatants out of any of school staff, and that includes the teachers in the classroom. What we're trying to do is provide them with a new capability and a new approach to buying some essential time, minutes, three to five minutes for the law enforcement agencies to respond to a call at their location. And the way that we do that is um, the pepper spray is very effective in pre-treating a given area. And in the military, we call this a channeling concept. It's how you engage a force that's stronger than yours without exposing your position, but you can actually steer or channel how they move through, through a certain location or a certain area. So in schools, what we are offering is a way of supporting what they're being taught um, by federal agencies, which is called run, hide, fight. And they're being taught that today, that that's the response to buy minutes of time in response to, to something that's happening on their campus. So we support that by having the pepper spray on board the unit being used to pre-treat the back of a closed door to the classroom. And what the teacher is trying to do is, is protect that area around the door and conceal the children in, in either a, a, in a closed area, a closet, or some area in the back of the room. That's what they're taught today. So when uh, somebody enters the room that isn't supposed to be there, what they're met with is uh, the vapor from the pepper spray, which makes it very difficult to breathe, starts affecting their vision, they can't see very well, and it gets their nose running very, very strongly. So what the general response is, that person will try to clear that area and move on to a different area. They're looking for weakness, not strength. So what happens now is if every teacher in a, in a building would treat the room the same way, sp spray the door, conceal the children, and communicate through their device to somebody off location, what we have now is everybody working in concert to steer the bad guy through the building and to keep them either in the hallways or outside of the building where law enforcement can engage them. So our tool actually fits very well in this conundrum of how we protect our nation's schools and how do we do it without introducing risk to the students, to the teachers, and the rest of the faculty.